So today is the first day of this four day online poetry workshop that I'm in and I thought it would be an interesting idea to um, go through this process and record reflections after each um, workshop and all of the things that are being offered during this course. Um, yeah, I thought it would be interesting to document what I'm learning and what I'm, you know, doing in the process of taking this class. Um, so today is the first day. I have some homework that's due. I have three readings and a writing assignment. Um, and then later this evening is our orientation. Uh, I guess it's just a welcome or whatever, but that's later on tonight. And then workshops start tomorrow morning at 11.30 a.m. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys along with me for the next four days in this you know online writing experience so i want to pull up the workshop facilitator had us send some answers to a couple questions before today and i sent mine's like you know 5 a.m this morning um but i wanted to just quickly pull it up and just share with y'all what i wrote to that um so essentially, essentially the facilitator asked why this workshop, which I respond to. I applied to this workshop because I want to grow as a writer in spaces that centralize voices like mine. I'm a black writer and other writers and other black writers whom I admire have attended this workshop in the past. Um, so the workshop series is being put on by an organization that like um, facilitates writing amongst people of color specifically. So. Um, yeah, that definitely is a reason why I applied for this thing. The next question was why now? Um, and I kind of just talked about how I actually applied for the fiction writing um, workshop and I like waited last minute to do something and the seats filled up so they had to switch me over to poetry, which is fine because poetry is my primary art form anyway. But I had chosen fiction because I'm finding it hard to write about what's going on in reality and I wanted to um, kind of expand to a, a new genre. I don't write fiction that often and I wanted to focus on something that's more escapist and not based in reality because reality fucking sucks and I'm trying to create a new one. Um, yeah, so I initially wanted to go to fiction, but now in poetry, that's totally fine. I kind of set the intentions that um, I want to, I hope to, at the end of this workshop experience, I'll have new pieces to send out for, to publications. Because that's like the next um, step, not next step in my career, but that's the next thing I want to focus on as a writer is just submitting to publications. Um, I don't, I, the last time I had something published was like, I think I had something published last year, but I feel like a lot of my accolades happen, has, have happened early on in my career and I haven't, um, kept up with the momentum of my younger self. Not that I'm in competition with my younger self, but I want to get back out there and I think before I put out my next book, I want to have more individual pieces out there in the world. So. Hopefully, I'll be able to produce some good stuff during this workshop, and then afterwards, I'll have stuff um, to send out. So, I also included my intentions for the workshop, which in therapy, my therapist, we were, we've been talking about um, like goals and expectations versus intentions. Um, I'm not really all too much grasping the difference because if I set an intention, I expect to fulfill that intention. I don't know. But, so I set some intentions and they are just to be present. Um, the last workshop I was in and in a lot of these online workshops that I get in, I'm not a student, to be honest with you. I was when I was younger, but I don't know what happened along the way. I've become not a student. Um, and I think it's because I don't, I've lost kind of, my ability to keep routines 
Because when I was young, I was routine, routine, and as I'm getting older, um, it's been harder for me to like stick to routines. And academics is about routine. Um, so in a lot of these workshops that I've been, I've like dipped off after like maybe the first two. Like I've never stuck it out to the end. So I'm gonna try very hard to be present. My intentions are to be present during this workshop experience. And my intention is to be studious, which means do the readings, do the homework, show up to workshop, go to the other panels and shit. Um, like do the work, basically. And, and do it well, like take notes, you know, like, be a fucking student right now. So those are my intentions, and um, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head and do my homework now, um, and then I'll check in with you guys after orientation. Or actually, I'll check in with you guys after I finish my homework to see, like, just to do a reflection on that, and then um, I'll check in with you guys after the orientation tonight. So um, thanks, and stick around for for more writer shit, writer life shit. Gang, gang, gang. Okay, so I just finished the orientation for the workshop. Um, and I submitted my homework during the workshop. I tried to, I was like, working on I just started working on the assignment like right before orientation started and so I was still finishing up as orientation was going on but once I submitted it I was like all right let me close out all these other tabs and like be present and you know like I said like the intention that I had set um yeah so I did my homework assignment I did some of the reading and during our um during our orientation we checked in with our workshop facilitator and he said for one of the reason for one of the read readings that we're going to discuss in workshop tomorrow he wanted us to um like think about where do we see ourselves as a writer in the primer which is he we're reading the um young poets primer and he wants us to note like where we see ourselves as a writer in this you know educational text by Gwendolyn Brooks um, so I already had started reading it. I didn't finish it, but now I'm gonna, well, not right now, but before workshop tomorrow, I'm going to read it with the intent of, read it and take notes with the intent of answering the question that my workshop facilitator had asked us to consider when we checked in today. And that's what I'm going to do probably tomorrow morning, right before workshop. Um... But yeah, I feel like I'm feeling good, feeling like a good start to it. I'm about to go make some dinner and chill for the rest of the day. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow after um, after workshop. I was going to check in a little bit about my homework assignment, but I think I'm going to wait until after um, I see what the other, see what happens to the poem after it's been workshopped and then talk about that process. So I'll check in after workshop about the poem that I wrote today and you know, whatever other shit I take notes on during this, you know, class. All right, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Honestly, I'm just out here like starting my day. I'm glad I got that filming part out of the way because I'm about to smoke the rest of this.